I, Hamza Haroun Yusuf, do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance. Today we have sent a clear message that your colour of skin or indeed your faith is not a barrier to leading the country that we all call home. Hamza Yusuf, Glasgow Pollock. Me, Hamza Yusuf, Iman Dari or Sachi Dilse, Ye Alan Kartahu. Ke me Hamesha, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, Unke Kanuni Warso, Unke Janeshino. Almost every trade union in this country headed by people who are white. In the Scottish Government, every Director General is white. Every Chair of every public body is white. That is not good enough. We could not be ignored. It wasn't just the, the SNP, it was a number of parties that were pushing for it. I genuinely believe that if we talk about policy as opposed to process, we're going to create that consistent majority for independence. When that happens, it cannot be ignored. You're right, I've said quite publicly, I'm not wedded to using the next general election as a de facto referendum. I want to have a really honest, engaging discussion with our membership. Did you wave again? <laughs> What's your view? What would you do? My view is we cannot cave in to the UK government vetoing legislation passed by the Scottish Parliament. If we cave in, we set the most dangerous precedent in the history of devolution, which is that we will lay down and allow the UK government at a whim to strike a red pen through any legislation they disagree with. I'm forever thankful that my grandparents made the trip from Punjab to Scotland over 60 years ago. As immigrants to this country who knew barely a word of English, they could not have imagined in their wildest dreams that their grandson would one day be on the cusp of being the next First Minister of Scotland.